Okay then guys, what is going on? Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today I have got information I did not think that I would be sharing at all in 2022 and that is the talk of CD Projekt Reg's Cyberpunk 2077 and this is just going to absolutely mind bog and an absolute shed ton of you as we have the potential for a brand new title within the Cyberpunk franchise. I know. This is just not going to go down too well. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. With that being said, let's jump on into it. Okay, so a matter of days ago now, we had the announcement from CD Projekt Red stating that Orion is the codename for their new cyberpunk game. This will take the cyberpunk franchise further and continue harnessing the potential of this dark future universe. And I think dark future universe is the right selective words for this one in general. Cyberpunk 2077 has been probably one of the most controversial games of the decade, with it being probably one of the most ill-transferred games to the general public, and this actually caused a lot of problems, with its original launch being, well, absolutely terrible to say the least. Although the storyline is absolutely amazing, and the game itself is just an absolutely awesome concept idea, and one that I really do enjoy. The game itself, I had a lot of fun with, although there are a lot of problems that they just have to work on at this point. Cyberpunk 2077 has only just recently become of a fully playable state for everybody involved in that franchise, and now they're already talking about the codename for the next Cyberpunk game. I don't know how I feel about that one. I want to know what your guys' opinions are down in the comment section below. Should they really already be focusing on the next installment for the Cyberpunk franchise, especially considering that the game's only just become functionable just recently? Now, throughout all of this, they do go on to speak about a load of other games, but we're going to take a look at the Cyberpunk one just for now. Now, they do talk about where it is that they're going to be taking the franchise at a later date, and their main focuses for this are actually quite interesting. They've got the Introduce Multiplayer Experiences, which in Cyberpunk 2077 would probably be one of the most greatest things that they could do given the fact that they do it properly. Now for me personally, as a consumer, as a gamer, I do not feel like this is something that they want to rush into and we may not even be seeing this title for a few years just because I solely believe that they need to get this right the second time round and a multiplayer Cyberpunk when they couldn't get the single player Cyberpunk to work well I think is going to be an extremely challenging task for CD Projekt Raid to say the least. They're also going to be boosting the development abilities to deliver more content to gamers with a prime focus on quality. And I think that's definitely something that they need to make their main primary function and their biggest boost in development needs to be around this area. Quality is something that they kind of lacked on with Cyberpunk 2077, although the storyline was good and the gameplay itself was quite enjoyable, the functionality was good, the game itself was broken beyond belief. So quality is something that they really, really need to harness with this new Orion codename title. And they're going to expand enduring franchises, which actually leads on to a very, very interesting topic of how they're actually looking at focusing around with their IPs. So they're going to be having the games that are processing through going through books and comics tv and film partnership and merchandise mobile games and they want to expand the game's centered ips and help them reach new heights now this is a very very clever way of working things and i haven't watched it myself but i know that a lot of people are currently just going through the cyberpunk anime that's been released of recent it is on my to-do list and it's something that i do want to go ahead and watch to find out how exactly it actually works and whether they've done a decent job of portraying the main franchise for it itself as an overall though, the company CD Projekt Red has caused for a bit of concern with this actually being something that they are solidly focusing on. They obviously have a lot more other things such as the Witcher Polaris and the Witcher Canis Majoris. Now Polaris states that it's the codename for the next installment of the Witcher series of games which they've recently announced was in pre-production. It is the beginning of a new saga and they aim to release two more Witcher games after Polaris creating a new AAA RPG trilogy which is always quite 
uh, interesting to say the least. And the Witch is definitely something they seem to be focusing on with two more things that they've got. They've got Canis Majoris, which is a full-fledged Witch to game separate to the new Witcher saga starting with Polaris. It will be developed by the external studio headed by the experienced developers who worked on the past Witcher games as an overall. And they've also got the Witcher Sirius, which is codenamed for the game developed by Molasses Flood set in the Witcher universe and created with support of the CD Projekt Red team. So it will also differ from their past productions, offering multiplayer gameplay on top of a single player experience, including a campaign and quests and a story. Now, The Witcher is something that is going to be a really interesting one with there being so many different titles for that one. But the code name Orion for Cyberpunk 2077 is just something that I am just so bloody unsure about. But I want to know what your guys' opinions are down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, smash that like button and subscribe, post notifications turned on. Cyberpunk's one of those games and I'm definitely going to be diving back into it now seeing exactly what it's like now that they've quote unquote completed it we'll see exactly how this one works if you haven't already make sure you smash that beautiful blue thumbs up subscribe post notifications turned on and thank you so much again for watching guys I appreciate all your faces but as always until the next time I'll see you in the clouds